Happy Sunday and welcome to our Heal and Well Said Self-Care Sunday sessions with me, Wen Ling. Before we start today's session, I wanted to extend a warm welcome to everyone. Um, welcome Heidi, great to see you. Hey Suyon, welcome. Welcome Judy. Hey Annie, welcome. Hey Astra, looks like we have lots of friends tuning in today. Um, feel free to let me know in the chat where you're tuning in from today and also if the audio is all right if you could let me know with a thumbs up or a quick comment in the chat okay just to let me know that the sound is all right looks great wonderful hey mark welcome hey kuma great to see you wonderful hey karina great to have you from germany well welcome Hi Vivian, welcome. Great to have you from Brazil. We have friends joining us from Greece. Wonderful. That's so great. California. That's great. Well, welcome everyone to Heal and Well Sets Self-Care Sunday Sessions. Um, this is a series of self-care sessions that's happening every alternate Sundays at 11 a.m. Pacific time. And the session will run for just under half an hour so that you can estimate your time. And before we start off today's session, I'd love to share a little bit more about WellSet. So WellSet is the world's first holistic well-being studio that is completely digital. By subscribing to WellSet, you get access to over thousands of live and also on-demand workshops and videos, including various different um, practices such as Qigong, which we will be exploring today, as well as um, yoga, as well as various different mindfulness, meditation, and breathwork workshops. And all of these various different tools and techniques are designed to help you manage your stress and relieve any tension and emotional um, challenges you might be experiencing so that you can settle into a place of calm, tranquility, and ease. And this is what WellSet is all about. And so about WellSet, my name is Wen Ling and I am one of the instructors for WellSet. I'm a mindfulness, well-being, and productivity coach. And as part of WellSet's Self-Care Sunday sessions, today's session will be a Qigong session to help you melt stress and settle into a place of calm and ease. Now, before we start today's session, a little bit about Qigong. Qigong is an energetic health practice that is rooted in traditional Chinese medicine. So what we'll be doing later on are various different forms, which might include some tapping, shaking, fluid flowing movements designed to release stress, tension, and any energy blockages in the body while circulating and promoting this smooth flow of energy inside of you. At any point of time, if whatever I offer during today's session doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't quite feel right, then feel free to do what feels right for you. After all, you are your own teacher and I'm here merely as a guide and as a facilitator. So everything I offer is an option and an invitation and you're welcome to accept the invitation if it feels good for you. And if it doesn't resonate, please feel free to listen to your own body and you are the most important. Um, before we start today's session, one last quick pointer. If you are working with some space constraints, the minimum requirement, uh, what I would encourage is to clear out your space so you have at least about one arm's distance, left and right and front and back of you. This is to facilitate so later on when we do various different movements like tapping and shaking, you have the option to move around a little bit. So you want to make sure that when you're moving later on, you don't accidentally hit yourself against um, your desk or against your cupboard or your books. So let's take the next couple of moments to arrange your space and make sure you get comfortable. One arm's distance, left and right and front and back. And later on, today's session will be done mostly standing. Um, if at any point of time it doesn't feel good for you to stand and you want to sit down, you are welcome to sit down. If sitting down doesn't feel accessible for you, you are welcome to lie down and do whatever feels right for you. So we're going to get started. Let's begin with your feet about hip distance apart. And if you're practicing barefoot, it might be nice to have a padded surface such as a yoga mat or some kind of carpet or non-slip surface underneath the base of your feet. 
This is because underneath the arches of your feet, there are important acupressure points. And we want to make sure that these acupressure points are well protected. So as you settle into a standing position, let's take a moment to notice how it feels to stand today. We're one of the few bipeds on the planet, and it's actually really precious to be able to stand on our two feet. So as you stand, we're going to start by noticing the weight shift of your body. Maybe you soften your knees and you start to allow your body to sway side to side, shifting the weight of your body from the outer edge of one foot to the center, between your legs to the center of the other foot and the outer edge of the other foot. So we start with a very gentle oscillating movement from left to right. Remember to keep your knees soft. Great. And then you can do the same front and back as well, oscillating between maybe the weight shifts towards the back of your heels, the center of your feet, and then more towards your toes. See if you can, as you explore these oscillations from left to right, front to back, notice that you can find a point that is right in the center, that is neither to the left, nor to the right, nor to the back, nor to the front. Right in the center, so that you feel this grounded and connected sensation with the earth. And once you find the center, next time you reach the center, exhale and soften your shoulders, your knees, your hips down, and inhale, grow the back of your head all the way to the sky. Let's try that again, exhaling, relaxing the shoulders down, softening your joint spaces, and inhale, grow the back of your head up to the sky. One last time. Exhale to relax and release and feel held. And inhale to grow the back of your head all the way up to the sky. Great. Now we've found our vertical alignment. From this vertical alignment, we're going to start to explore. And as you keep your feet rooted to the earth, let's start by moving in any way that feels good for you. Maybe you move your arms, maybe you explore sideways. This is called spontaneous Qigong. And what we're doing is we're allowing movement to be a means to support you to explore the nooks and crannies of your body. Also take this time to fully arrive in your body in this moment. Which areas feel more tender and maybe which areas feel more open. See if you can sense and feel the different parts of your body. And you might be moving in a very different way from me. That's completely great and perfect. In fact, many of us will move completely differently. And when I teach this in a physical class in person, everyone is doing their own thing and you are doing your own thing as well. Really checking in with yourself. Now, if this feels really great and you feel like, oh, well, there are a few more spaces I want to explore inside of me, then feel free to go ahead and stay here. If you would like to join me as we transition into the next form, what we'll do now is we'll do a little bit of shaking. And in today's shaking, allow your arms to come down by the sides of your body and we'll allow a gentle rhythmic shaking to spread throughout the whole of your body. Let this start off as a very gentle movement. And then if it feels good and you want to intensify, then feel free to intensify. The movement might become bigger in terms of magnitude. It might also become faster or it might not. So feel free to explore and move at a pace and rhythm that feels right for you. And if for any reason shaking doesn't feel good, then please feel free to go back to our previous form where we were doing spontaneous Qigong and listen into your body. As we're doing shaking, you may wish to visualize any stress or tension like little droplets of water and you're gently flicking them away from your shoulders, your arms, your legs, and you feel it slide down your shoulders to the ground, to the earth beneath you. With your next inhale, let's stretch your lungs. So as you breathe in, let your hands float up to any degree. Maybe they reach all the way up. Maybe just slightly, maybe just barely by the sides 
whatever feels right and is accessible for you. So breathing in, letting the arms flow up and breathing out, letting the arms come down. Let's try this one last time. Breathing in, the hands flow up and breathing out, your arms gently come down. Great. Now we'll add some twists to the spine to massage your internal organs. We'll breathe in, lengthening the crown of your head to the sky. And then as you breathe out, I'm your mirror. Could you turn towards your right side and look beyond your right shoulder? Then slowly let your next inhale carry you back through the center. And the next exhale carry you to turn and twist towards your left side, looking beyond your left shoulder. And then slowly and gently we come back. If that feels good, feel free to repeat it a couple of times. I like to breathe out to turn and breathe in to come back through the center. And with this very gentle movement, we're gently wringing out intention. We're also doing a very gentle massage of your internal organs by doing this twisting movement. A few more invitations here. You might stay in this rhythmic shaking. You might also lift and land your heels, pumping through the balls of your feet. Please only do this if it feels all right for you. If you feel that it's challenging your balance and it doesn't feel good, please stay grounded with all four corners of your feet to the earth. If instead you feel like, oh, you have so much energy and you need and you want to let it move through you, and this lifting and landing of the heels feels good, then please feel free to move in any way that feels good for you. Maybe it becomes really active or maybe it's quite gentle. And we have one more invitation here, the final one before we conclude this form and transition to the next one. You might flutter out your lips or release any sounds that feel like they want to leave your body. We'll keep on shaking and releasing for about 10 more breaths. And you're welcome to keep going. So if you feel like you have lots of this stuck energy inside that needs moving, feel free to continue going. If you feel like you'd like to allow this shaking to taper off into stillness, slowly let the movement taper into stillness and reaffirm your connection with the earth. Let your four corners of your feet, your inner corner of your heel, outer corner of the heel, under the big toe mound and the little toe mound, Imagine them like the four legs of a chair rooting down to the earth. And as you root down, take a nice big, big sigh here. And then as you inhale, grow the back of your head up to the sky. Take a moment to notice how it feels now after this shaking, rhythmic, moving meditation. Maybe you notice the ebb and flow of your breath. Maybe you observe some warmth, heat, tingling sensations. These are quite common. Maybe you notice something else coming to surface. Notice what there is to notice. And I want to invite you to notice deep inside of you, right in the center of your being. Through this ebb and flow of your breath, through the pulsation of this energy that is you, there is a point of stillness that remains still through all situations, however challenging or triggering they may be. And this space, this place is deep inside of you. See if you could connect with this place. And now as you connect with this place, let your palm slowly and gently open slightly out and up. And with your next breath in, we'll sweep your arms sideways and all the way up to the sky, 
to connect with the heavens. The heavens represents your higher self, your dreams, your aspirations, all the things that are real. And even if you can't see them, you know that they are there. As you exhale, as if like the light of the sun, guiding with your hands, let this energy from above, this intention, begin to shine over you so that in moments of darkness and uncertainty, you know where to go. You trust and you follow this inner light that is deep from within you. Now the same movement, a slightly different intention this time, as you sweep your arms sideways, see if you could feel it is as if you are spreading the wings of your heart. So the energy channels or the meridian energy lines of your arms they are where the heart and the lung energy channels are. So as you move your hands, it is as if you are moving your heart. And as your palms move right in front of your heart center, remembering that you are not alone. We are in this community together. You are seen, you are loved, and you witness, you see, and you love and connect with others. The last one, connecting with the earth. So a similar movement, we reach upwards towards the heavens. This is your dream self, wherever you want to be, whoever you want to become. And then as you exhale, as you let this light shine from above, acknowledging who you are and how far you've come. This is the earth element and where you are right now, the tangible aspects of your reality here and now. Feel the earth, know the earth, and trust the earth. From here, gently and slowly, we'll let both palms come right in front of the lower belly area. I'll show you this sideways with the posture, but you can stay facing forward. We want to make sure that the last part of your spine, where your tailbone is, some of us have the posture where we might not be aware, and our last part of the spine might be hyper-contracted and your bum might be sticking back. So what we want to do is to allow this last part to scoop under. So you allow your tailbone to drop down to the earth. And this, there's this lots of spaciousness here in the lower and mid back, down towards the hips. And it's almost as if you're sitting on an imaginary high stool. And we can do a small movement to release any tension in the lower back. When you breathe in, arch the spine. And when you breathe out, scoop it under. Inhale to arch, exhale to scoop under. I'll show you this from the front view as well. Breathe in, arch, and breathe out, round and scoop. Let's do this a few times to rock the pelvic bowl and also release the lower back and cultivate some softness and fluidity in all of your joint spaces, including your hips, your knees, your ankles, And then the next time you let that last portion scoop under just slightly, just a little bit. Then we return to the posture with the palms right in front of the lower belly. Shoulders are relaxed, hips and the whole of your body is relaxed. Your jaw is relaxed as well. And if you find your jaw relaxed, naturally for many of us, the tongue will be close to the top of your soft palate and the tip of your tongue will be behind the back of your front teeth. See if you could find this relaxed position with your body and get a same kind of stability and softness being connected with the earth. From here, as you breathe in, let's expand your intention for how you want to show up in the world. And then as you exhale, we refine and let go of any limiting beliefs. Breathing in, maybe your intention is, I am love. And then breathing out, letting go of any self-doubt, any worry. Breathing in, maybe your heartfelt intention is, I am abundant and generous. And then breathing out, letting go of smallness, a limiting mindset. So whatever serves you in the moment, however you want to show up in the world, let your inhale guide you to reach that fullness of expression. 
And then as you exhale, letting go and refining. So you come back to the essence of what it is and who you want to be. And we are often pulsating through these forces, through these phases of yin-yang, which are two equal and opposing forces that underpin everything in the world. We inhale and we show the world who we are. We are brave. And we exhale and we reconnect with ourselves, introspection and self-reflection. Inhaling, connecting with others and exhale, returning within. You are very welcome to continue with this form. This is a simple yet very profound and powerful form that we call experiencing qi. And qi is simply a word to describe your own vital life force, your energy. In yoga, there's a similar term called prana. And in qigong, it is called qi. If this feels good, feel free to stay and linger with this form. If you'd like to join me as we begin to transition to the next form, slowly and gently let the palms once again hold your intention for what you want to manifest and how you want to show up in the world. From here, we'll begin to revolve the palms. So one hand comes on top and the other hand comes below. And you want to imagine as if there is a golden thread connecting the center of one palm with the other. And you're holding this golden ball that is your intention, that is your vital energy. And as you revolve this ball, let it be a reminder of how important it is to shift your perspective. Sometimes in life we can because of the situation we are in, become narrow-minded and forget to shift the perspective, to start to see that things are not necessarily black or white. The truth and reality in our experience really depends on which angle and what lens through which we experience and relate to the world. So the next time you let one palm come on top, so I've got my left hand on top and right hand below. From here, we're going to gently and slowly turn your chest towards the direction of your top palm. Make sure to keep your opposite heel connected to the earth and your knees are soft. What we want to avoid doing is letting the hips uh, begin to spiral out of control and your heel lifting off. Remember, we keep this connection and rootedness with the earth and we only revolve as far as your chest can take you and you'll feel a gentle massaging sensation in your chest and torso area, which is the intention of this pulse. Then we let the hands swap, a shift of perspective. And we follow the top hand across to the opposite side until you can't turn anymore. So the same thing here, we've reached the extreme on the other side and then we let the hand swap. Let's try that again, revolving, palms swap, and gently revolving, palms swap, following the top palm across. And if this feels good for you, then follow your own rhythm, your own flow. I'm here as a visual reference if you need to have a look. But you're always welcome to follow your own pace. And if you found this fairly easy to follow, you'd like to layer on this practice. The next time the palms swap, shift the weight of your body to the other leg so you glide across to the other leg. And then the palms swap. And same thing, the hips glide across to the other side. We'll keep going for about three more breaths. You do you. Follow your own rhythm, your own pace. This form is called holding the Tai Chi. And some of you might be familiar with Tai Chi as Tai Chi. Um, that is the alliteration of how it's often called in the West. It is the symbol of yin yang mixed together. That is black and white, white and black. 
and a sense of this ever-changing and dynamic balance that we have in our lives. But the next time we come back to the starting point, we'll swap the palms and make sure you have the opposite hand. So I'm facing towards my left side and I've got my right hand on top. Then we'll use the right hand to take a breath in and consolidate your energy ball. Connect with your intention of how you want to grow and show up in the world. Then with the top palm, imagine you form a blade and we're going to cut through any obstacles and limiting beliefs. Let it sweep and make space. And then with the bottom hand, we're going to send and receive energy into the future. Great, let's try that again. Now this hand, which is in front, we're going to form the top of the energy ball on the opposite side. I've got my left hand, I'm facing towards my right, and my left hand is on top. Same thing, see if you could squish this energy ball just a bit, really connecting with that intention as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, let this blade cut away any uncertainty, any worries. And then with the other hand, open to connect and receive. Let's try this two more times, breathing in, and we mix space and we send and receive. Breathing in, make space, send and receive. One last time. Breath in, gliding across, making space, sending and receiving. And then on the other side, breath in, gliding across, clearing to make space, and then send and receive. Now, whatever hand you've got in front, it doesn't have to be the same as mine, no worries. We cross the other palm and with the center of your healing hands, imagine you draw a rainbow of protection above you in the biosphere. And then at the height of your heart, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, we dive down towards the earth, scooping with your hands. Only go as low as it feels good for you. Maybe you soften your knees or maybe not. And let your hands form two scoops to gather from the earth the fruits of your labor. We're reaching harvest season and we're transitioning into autumn. And then we share this with the world. Beautiful. Let's try this two more times. So the palms go up. From above, draw that rainbow connection. And at the height of your heart, take a breath in. Open your heart. From the heart, dive down to the earth. From the earth, gathering up your rich and full harvest. And then we share this harvest with the people you love. One last round. So the palms go up. And we draw this above you. At the height of the heart, take a breath in. And diving down to the earth as you breathe out from the earth, you rise up as you inhale and through the heart, we share it with the world. And to conclude and wrap up our moving meditation today, from the earth, let the hands sweep up through the heart and all the way up to the heavens, aligning the three levels of existence from above guide this energy and your intention to become your guiding light through your heart may you listen and feel and connect with this always and let this then trickle down and manifest in your lived reality on the up and then slowly and gently we bring both palms together in front of the heart and let your head bow slightly down towards your heart acknowledging everyone and everything that made it possible for you to be here and join us today. Thank you so much for joining us for Heal and Well Set's Sunday self-care series. And today's session was a Qigong session to melt stress and to connect and grow with yourself to cultivate a sense of calm and ease. So if you'd like to join me for more sessions or if you'd like to find out more about Well Set, you are so welcome. For HEAL subscribers, um, you can get 25% off with the code HEAL25. 
H-E-A-L in capital letters 25 to get 25% off your monthly subscription. And this also includes a 14-day free trial. So you can try out the platform and try a couple of different classes, Qigong, hypnosis, uh, meditation, breath work, to see if it resonates with you. And if so, then you can stay on with the platform. It's a great way to experience this wonderful platform. And um, stay tuned for our next um, session, which will be happening in two weeks' time on the 1st of October, Heal and Wellset Sunday self-care series. It's been a huge pleasure to be here with you. My name is Wenling. Feel free to follow me on, uh, if you want to stay connected on Instagram, I am flow with Wenling. So that's my handle. And I teach for well set. So well set. Um, it's been a really great pleasure to be here with you. I would love to hear if anyone has any questions, anything you want to share. Oh, you're very welcome, Mark. I'm glad you enjoyed the session. I'll take a couple of moments in case we have anyone who had some questions or something they wanted to share. And no worries also if you came slightly late and you missed an earlier part of the video. So this video will be available on uh, Heal's Instagram account uh, later on. Hiya Edna, you mentioned a will you tell. Could you um, finish your sentence? I think I missed out some part of your sentence. Oh yes, my IG account is flow with Wenling, F-L-O-W with, and my name, W-E-N-L-I-N, flow with Wenling. Yes. Yes, great to see you all. I forgot to introduce a little bit about myself. So I'm from Singapore. Some of you may or may not recognize my accent. Now I'm based in the north of Italy. And yeah, I teach a lot online as well as I offer retreats in person. So yeah, it would be great to stay connected. You're welcome. So glad. If anyone has anything else you'd like to share, any questions, comments, feedback, you are very welcome. And thank you so much for the hearts as well. <laughs> Good. It looks like we don't have any other further comments. So if any questions come up with regards to the practice of Qigong or if you have any um, uh, questions you'd like to ask about WellSet, you're always welcome to drop me a message or the team on WellSet or the team on Heal as well. So be sure to stay tuned for the next session. In two weeks' time, there will be another wonderful instructor from WellSet who will be sharing a very potent self-care Sunday practice with you. And in the meanwhile, I wish you a wonderful, restful, and very nourishing Sunday and week ahead. And take care and see you soon, everyone.